Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you some Valentine's Day activities for your young ones. Here I've set up some activities for ages 2 to 6 years old here in my home school. And so whether you are a teacher or homeschool parent, today you're going to get some great ideas on what you can do with your kids. And so a lot of my activities I save year by year and then I rotate them. I have a little bin here where I keep all of my Valentine's Day activities and these are some of the activities that I did in previous years that I'm not doing this year. Um, and I just save things here in this box and then I just pull them every year, rotate them out and if I find something new that I love on the internet, I print it out, I laminate it and I put it in here and it's ready to go. So it's a good idea to save your items so that you don't have to continuously buy new supplies. Um, and I do this for every season. Okay, so let's start with the first activity here. This is a numbers quantity activity. Here I have a die. And I love this die because I use it for, with so many different activities. It has little pockets. And so the child is going to be rolling the die. And then, for example, they got six. Um, and they would get these tongs that I have over here. Good fine motor skills practice. They got these pom poms. They put six. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And it's six. And it's a little difficult even for me to grab these, so it's going to be great practice for them. And so they keep rolling until everything is filled here, and they have finished filling all of the hearts over here. This is a great numbers quantity activity. All right, moving on to the next activity over here. Okay, over here I have a patterning activity. So I have these little laminate cards and have these conversation hearts, and then the child is going to just finish the pattern. So. Blue, green, blue, green. Blue, blue, green. Blue, green. And the child goes on and on until they have finished the pattern. And this is a skill that needs to be learned in preschool and kindergarten, so it's great for little ones and even first grade. So. There's lots of different patterns in here, and I'll link below. All of the principles that you see here are for free, and I'll link it below so that you can download them as well for your kids. Okay, moving on to the next activity. Okay, and this activity is for my youngest one. And this is a um, an activity in which she practices her fine motor skills, and at the same time, she's practicing one-to-one -one correspondence as she's putting one heart, one pom-pom, in each of these little hearts. And she can count one two and it takes focus and concentration to do this so it's great practice and one-to-one -one correspondence is a pre-math skill that is needed for a lot of different math concepts so at the same time the child is learning and I got this at Walmart and I think I got this um, either at the dollar store or Walmart I got a lot of things either at the dollar store Walmart and so on okay. this next activity is using patterning blocks and I have these principles that I laminated and they have to do all with Valentine's Day. And the child is going to be using these pattern blocks to create these different shapes and different things. And they're going to go on and on. This is great activity for the little ones, preschool, kindergarten. Here's another heart. This is a little bit more difficult. And the child is going to be putting how many hexagons, how many trapezoids, how many rhombuses. There are there as well. So it's good practice for the little ones. And again, I'll link below where you can get these for free, you guys. Moving on to the next activity. Okay, so here's the fun one. This is Valentine's Bingo. And basically, each one of my kids is going to get a bingo card. And then we're going to play bingo. I'm going to be describing things. Can you find the yellow heart with a happy face? And then they would put a little heart on it. Can you find the green heart with glasses? So this is great. Um for the little ones, so even for language and literacy development for the two-year-old and four-year-old. So we're going to have fun with this more than anything else. Moving on to the next activity. Here's another number quantity activity and I have some conversation hearts. So the child can either use Play-Doh or a marker here and they would trace the five 
or use Play-Doh. That's even more fun. If you can get Play-Doh, that would be great. So they could build the, the five with the Play-Doh, and then they would put conversation cards. One, two, three, four. And it's great because they're learning number quantity. They were using the, the 10 frame. Um, great for the little ones. And they have, I have numbers one through 10, where did I, I laminated these front and back so I didn't have to waste a lot of paper. So in the front and the back, I have a different number. All right, moving on to the next activity. Okay, so here is a Valentine's Day STEM um, cards challenges for kids and then I printed this from the internet and I laminated this one for today is build Lego hearts can you build a 2d Lego heart can you build a 3d Lego heart I know that and I have the Legos here and there's other cards over here like this one's explore a chemical reaction with baking soda and vinegar color the vinegar red stem challenge number two stack the, the tallest tower of heart candies possible in one minute have a race with a friend. Then it goes on and on. It has different STEM challenges. And my kids are going to love doing these. They're just so fun. Moving on to the next activity. Okay, this next activity is candy heart graphing. And so the child the, will do this. where They will be graphing these candies. Green. 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 And they're going to go on and on graphing all of the candies. As you can see here, I don't have any white. So they're not going to put anything there for white. And then they're going to be... Tallying this up and seeing which heart, which color do we have the most of and which color do we have the least of. Um, and then comparing. Maybe we have two of the same color that are the same number. And this is a great little activity that even the two-year-old can do and just sort these hearts. And the six-year-old can do as well. Okay, moving on to the next activity. Okay, so this is a fun one. This, they're just creating Valentine's Day cards here. Um, and so I have these little things that go on the table that I got at the Dollar Tree. Little hearts, and they're so beautiful with the, these little designs. Then I have heart stickers. And the children are going to be just creating these little um, Valentine's Day cards. They could do it for grandparents. They can do it for friends, whoever they want it for. Or just to have it here for decorative purposes. And they're going to have a lot of fun, and then they can color it in as they want as well. It's going to be a fun activity for them. Okay, this next activity is a follow directions activity. So here I have some hearts and the child has to follow these five steps. So first they have to find a matching heart with the same color. So let's say they get this one here. And then it says fill the heart with a sticker. So they would get one of these little stickers and these are little um, Shopkin stickers. So they fill it in there. The next one is close the heart. So they're following directions and at the same time they're using the little hands and little muscles to put these together. And then it says put the heart in the finished basket is number five. And then um, bear with me here because I have one hand you guys. So it says put the heart in the finished basket. So they would put it here and they would go on and on like an assembly line building their little hearts and following directions. And I have um, so many activities that I do with these following directions is so great for children because they're learning how to follow directions, how to do things step by step. Um, if it helps them with concentration, with focus, and I'll link below in the description box where I have a whole ebook on on how I share different activities, following directions, and um, I have about. Uh, over 200 different activities photographed in a little manual for you guys um, so I'll link it below in the description box because I love doing these activities and I've seen how helpful it is for my kids alright moving on to the next activity okay and this one is a really fun one so here I have these little hearts and I put these little dots on them so the first thing the child is going to do they're going to put these in order number order one Two, and by the way, you can get these at Walmart, the dollar store. Three, four. So number order is a skill that needs to be learned. Five and six. And now the child is going to use these chopsticks with the chopstick gates. I actually got this at an Asian restaurant, but you can find them on Amazon as well. And the child is going to just be taking the little hearts and putting them in here. How many? It depends. So this is one. So then they will take one heart. And this is a difficult activity for the little ones to grab these little things, even for adults. One. And then they would cover up the little heart. 
and they will go on and on until they have finished filling each of the hearts with these little conversation hearts. This is a fun one for them to do. Okay, moving on to the next activity. Okay, so this next activity we love doing year by year. And these are just little Valentine's Day cards that I got at the dollar store. And then, as you can see, there's different animals here, different, at, different cats and dogs specifically. And then the child is just going to match, and this is good visual discrimination practice. As the child matches these cards, and as you can see, they change as you look at them. Um, and this is just good visual discrimination. And visual discrimination is also an essential skill that is needed for math, for literacy, for all different types of things. So this is going to be a, a great little activity. And you can do it with any type of Valentine's Day cards that have similar um, pictures so that the child is able to practice visual discrimination skills. Okay, moving on to the next activity. Down here I have just fun stuff for them. Over here I have these little glasses that they're going to be able to put on. So I have three girls, ages two, four, and six. So they could put these little cute glasses that I got at the dollar store to do their activities. And then I got these little board books for them. I have the story of Valentine's Day. And I have Berenstain Bears Valentine's uh, Valentine Party. They love Berenstain Bears. And we have a huge collection of, of, of uh, Berenstain Bear books for each season. And just a um, bunch of uh, Berenstain Bear books. So they're going to be loving... Um, looking at those stories again and then here I have lastly is a um, it's like a sensory bin for little ones and they absolutely love these are hearts and I just threw some dolls in here and kids just love this like pouring with a little cup they could use a spoon they could use a spoon and they could pour little hearts this is a sensory bin. Kids just love playing with these rocks. Now, if you have little ones, you just have to keep an eye on them with your two-year-olds or one-year-olds. They love playing with it. You just have to be there while they're playing with it um, and watch them so that they don't put these little rocks in their mouth. And I got these little rocks at the dollar store, I think it was, as well, a while ago. And they have so much fun. It's really soothing to play with these little rocks. And my kids, even my six-year-old, loves playing with these sensory bins. All right, you guys. Okay, so these are all the activities that I have for the kids. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Click on the description box and you can get all of the free principles mentioned here in the video. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you never miss a video. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. And I hope you have beautiful memories with your children. Now, what I do is I remove all the candy from the shelf. And I only leave it out for the days that we have the activities. And I always remember to bring down my little curtain. And voila, everything is gone. And the kids do not get distracted. I made a video on my new organization of my homeschool supplies which is this wonderful shelf that I absolutely love and I'll link that below in the description box as well. I hope you enjoyed the video until the next time. Bye bye! Hello everyone so today I'm going to share how I organize my homeschool supplies. I have been decluttering and fixing things up around my home. I shared with you in another video on how